So with that lighthearted business out of the way, and uh, with a lot of news happening right now, I wanted, of course, to talk about journalist Andy Ngo, uh, Vietnamese-American journalist living in Portland, center-left from what I understand, and uh, he was viciously attacked <coughs> by the Antifa gang. Now, I think uh, the reason they purported is that uh, he had been following them, and even though he is on the left, you look at the Overton window, especially in uh, Portland, and how being uh, center-left, being a liberal, uh, makes you right-wing. It makes you a fascist in their eyes. He had been just simply videotaping them and the ridiculous things that they were saying, the ridiculous rallies, the, uh, the acts of violence against bystanders, attacking vulnerable people. He simply videotaped it. That's all he did. He didn't provoke anyone. But they saw him there and thought of him as a target and attacked him, these so-called communists. They're not communists, they're terrorists. That's the thing. I've lived in a couple of communist countries now, and uh, no system is perfect, mind you. But one thing that communists do well is they organize things pretty well. There's a, a order in the streets. Uh, you know, I don't think I've ever seen a violent fight in a communist country. Uh, you don't see people just starting riots or gangs. I mean, there isn't looting here in the same way. Uh, communist countries feel pretty safe uh, because they don't have street gangs and stuff. But uh, I don't know what they were thinking or, or what they're hoping to prove. It's, it's funny, um, <clears throat> just considering their motives, it's, it seems like play acting. Like, they're mad about the Proud Boys coming, or they're mad about anyone wearing a Trump hat or whatever, and they think that violence is okay now. It's that uh, diabolical phrase, uh, by any means necessary, that I think comes from Jean-Paul Sartre. And uh, that's been used as a slogan for these groups. If you equate words or ideologies with violence, then using actual violence is permitted. Thus, you have a minority... Um, an immigrant from a communist country uh, and who happens to be homosexual, someone who ticks all those identity boxes, just getting beaten horribly um, by this white terrorist Antifa gang. As someone who's had the shit beaten out of me before, watching that video was just shocking. And, and seeing how he didn't turn around and fight back, but he just kept walking away from it. Um, that gave him so much dignity, and it just broke my heart to see that, and just to think about it, what these people were, were up to. I can't imagine living in Portland. No fucking way do I want to encounter this Antifa gang that's not interested in ideas, not interested in discourse, but want to go straight to violence. Absolutely despicable, absolutely infuriating, and I wish the media were reporting on this more. And um, I wish that one of these weak, cowardly candidates would finally stand up and condemn Antifa. Because if this violence continues, there's going to be harsh response from the right. There's going to be a lot of trouble in the streets and for anyone anyone I care about stay out of Portland I never need to go see that horrible city um, but man I, I just feel so sorry uh, and I hope this doesn't happen again and we need to spread the word so that decent hard-working uh, journalists just people holding cameras aren't attacked by angry mobs over and out.